Hi guys! Today I'm going to show you the life cycle of the biggest moth in the world, the Atlas Moth. It all starts with an egg. This egg then hatches into a caterpillar. This caterpillar is then captured by my mom and has to live the rest of its life being watched. Say hello to Dingy. Hey, don't judge. My mom chose that name, not me. But just what does Dinky mean? Well, if you look up Dinky in the dictionary, it means a place or object that is attractively small and neat, or a disappointingly small and insignificant object. I think we'll go with the first one, even though Dinky is not an object. And he's not small. He's fat. He's fat and he eats a lot because when he turns into a moth, he won't have a mouth. So he will only survive on the fat he built up as a caterpillar. That means he will only live for six or seven days. That's why all he basically does as a caterpillar is eat, eat, and eat. After he eats, he... Ah! Mama! Why is it pooping? <laughs> Why? Why? Ah! <laughs> ah it's pooped! It pooped! And look at the amount of poop that comes out of one caterpillar. And look at those feet. It's like suction cups. Groovy green ones. Then after a while, he spins himself a cocoon. But before we go on, let me explain the difference between a cocoon and a pupa. Well, for starts, the one on the left is a cocoon, and the one on the right is a pupa. A cocoon is made out of silk, and it's like a sack. Inside the cocoon is the pupa. Normally, only moths make cocoons, not butterflies, but there are a few exceptions. Meanwhile, a pupa is not made of silk, and it's alive. It's the animal itself. Imagine it like a snake shedding its skin, then staying trapped inside its skin. And now, a fast-forwarded video of our previous Atlas moths making their cocoons.
and this is Binky's cocoon and pupa. And as you can see, the pupa is inside the cocoon. And the only reason the cocoon is open is because we cut it open. And don't worry, this did not harm the moth. And I will also be linking a video about sexing pupas in the description below and the person's channel in the top right corner. He's a bit immature, but the videos are interesting. A word of advice, watch starting from here because that's where the real video starts. So go ahead and check it out. Atlas moths stay in their cocoons for approximately 4 weeks. And then they... Finally, I'm a beautiful butterfly! <laughs> yep, basically. So say hello to the new and improved Dinky! His head is such a bright orange, and he has such colourful wings. Like he has pink, orange, red, white, black, grey, and peach. Not to mention they have these cool transparent bits in them. And I promise you, they are not holes. Not to mention that huge body. We did measure him, and his wingspan is 7.5 cm. And if you measure from his head to the tips of his wings, it's 7 cm. And his wings weren't even fully dried. And the next day, when we went to check up on him, we found him with his wife. They were mating on the Bunga Kantan tree, the tree my mom found him on. Quit peeking, it's creepy, says you, human. And that's all for the life of Dinky the Atlas Moth. For more videos like this, subscribe, turn on notifications, and comment down below what you want to see next. We love hearing from you guys. See you guys next week. Bye! Look at it, look at it.